Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is L.A. Noir. Before we jump back into it, just a quick reminder. You, yes you, you're an awesome person. So, keep being awesome to others, okay? Alright, let's jump in and see what this new case is going to be all about, shall we? Alright. So, we are now on the homicide desk. We have ourselves a new partner. Um, so far, I'm not super thrilled with him, but, you know, maybe he'll grow on us. And we have ourselves a case that they're saying yes, sir. has the Both signs parts. of Kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. the werewolf, a which is apparently the Black Dahlia. Some trouble, but nothing like this. Uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? The Moors. Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Good. Go house to house and see what you come up with. House to house, huh? Why does... Why does one footprint have a thing around it? Unless... What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's side bags. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Lifted impress. Oh, so they did like a plaster mold over it to get an impression. Okay, that's. Hmm. So, vehicle pulled up to here. Person got out, went around the car. Pulled her out of the car, it looks like. Then dragged her. She was already bleeding, though. They dragged her over to there. We're going to hold off on that, because that's going to be a little bit on the gruesome side. Uh, what's over here? This looks like personal effects for her. The victim's bag? Yes, that is what that is. Brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Okay. Cartel's classic carmine? Interesting. I doubt there's anything to this, right? Yeah, it's just a hairbrush. Anything else? It was like some hurt? kind of puzzle or parlor game. Oh, That's an intricate lighter. It's like its own little puzzle box. Just to open the thing up and light something. It's kind of a cool idea, though. It's definitely not something that you see it anymore. I mean, unless you're, like, antique hunting or something. Uh, this is just trash, right? Yeah. Is there anything else before we go deal with the body? I don't see anything. Watch out, big guy. Has the scene been secured? <clears throat> Trauma and Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. Anything with the hand? No. Okay. What about this hand? 
Ooh. What about this wound on the finger? What's going on there? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Ooh, look at the nails. Where her fingernails are all broken. Where she's clearly been trying to fight. Trying to claw her way out of a car, maybe? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Fuck you. BD... And maybe the word 10? No, go, go up. Look at the head. Oof. It's a nasty wound on the jaw. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Whew. Whatever they use, they laid into her with it. Holy crap. But he said that she was also stomped repeatedly. Which I guess is... Well, yeah, you can see the footprint on the upper chest near the shoulder. And I'm guessing that's also the abdominal bruising. Man. What's the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia? Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests from a lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. I guess that's his way of saying we're done here. Messed up stuff right there, but I guess because he d he's allegedly got a lot of time on the uh, homicide squad, so I guess it makes sense. So we're going off to the Bomba Club. Walkers. The werewolf? For my money, copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. Yeah, Wait. That wood, you That's a real line. On your wall. Caller of the decade. We've been working evidence on BD case for six months. Of that There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us a note in the court. He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? You finished, fellas. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the MO and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastic. Well, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for the police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder. It was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We would have found it. Hmm. He's... He's actually giving some good advice about that, though. Like, you can't make this into something bigger than it actually is. Not to fixate so much on, oh, we gotta link it to this other big case from the past. You know, just treat it as the case that it is, not the case that you want it to be. It's actually really good advice. I do feel like that's something that Phelps kind of jumps the gun on a little bit from time to time. So I need to hang a right turn up here. 
Sorry, I'm trying to look at the map and not run over freaking Jaywalker at the same time. So, this road up here, maybe? Apparently. Alright. So, we kind of gun it through here. We'll run into a dead end, apparently. Well, not a complete dead end. Dude, LA is so confusing. And this is back in the 40s. I can only imagine how bad it is now. Considering it's, what, like four times the size, probably? Definitely way more populated. Okay, so it should be this left. I think. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, this is not New York. There we go. So this is the Great Bomba Club, advertising cocktails and air conditioning. To be fair, air conditioning is a big deal. You do want that. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, Is that a thing? Seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Where does I have this? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. Where's that goddamn... Galloway, it's like... Not even noon. And you're getting three fingers worth of whiskey? Okay, bud. Talk about being a thirsty guy. You going to pay for that? In the house, officer. That's the spirit. Pour me another. Hmm. Lovely. So, two questions. First off, for those who know more about this stuff than I do, which is most of you probably, are it, is there actually some kind of agency operating out there that provides temporary fill-in bartenders, like a substitute teacher almost? Is that actually a thing? It doesn't sound like it would be a thing, but I, I honestly don't know. Secondly, aren't hibiscus flowers really big? And therefore, how would you wear one on your chest? Or am I thinking of something totally different? I mean, I guess we're about to find we're out. We're investigating the murder of Celine uh, Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Christ. Okay, that flower is not very big. Sure, I know. But it she and I and also doesn't look Jacob like a hibiscus. So she was here last night. I don't know. Sure, she's a regular. Selena's was a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Selena already had quite a head start. And she attracted attention. Already Certainly. had a head start. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Maintaining eye contact. Doesn't seem to have a weird facial twitch or anything like that. Yeah, let's go with truth. You know him? 
I don't no. have anything that like He's says it's wrong. Been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes, at around eleven. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Yeah, that would help so, tremendously. Uh, how'd you turn Chris out? Sam is taking me to I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Okay. Well, don't give it back. Keep it. We need that. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was uh, just before Jacob. Yeah, now he's shuffling around. But he didn't start shuffling around and acting awkward until we asked who bought it. And I don't have any way of proving who bought it. So... Doubt? I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're gonna tell me. Okay, I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Selene in those days. I guess I always have. But old man never knew about it. Okay. You That's know fair. the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Again, kind of sheepish looks. Can't maintain eye contact very well. That weird, like, nervous swallow that he's doing. Yeah, we're going to go with doubt on this one, too. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stow the attitude, will you? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up, asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Hmm. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Oof. It's got to be rough. You ought to meet Joe's buddies. Nice. Hey, drunk, you ready to go? Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? Come on, I need to go get to a phone. Luckily, there appears to be one right around the corner. Yeah, we'll go there. The residence soon enough. But first, we're going to do a slightly illegal maneuver of driving down the sidewalk for a second or two. You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, folks. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job of a healthy thirst to bend you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide you know detectives, that right responsibility here. is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze and the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only Oof. you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor, our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. 
I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Wow. Yeah, Galloway kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'd rather have our old partner back. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks. Okay. Nowadays, they couldn't have those kinds of boxes out there anymore because people would destroy them. Have to wait for a second or two. Oh, truck decided to go. Cool. To be fair, this car does have a little bit more pickup than the uh, the last one we had, but I'm still waiting for when we get into get access to some of the fancier cars. Not so much fast, fancier, just sportier, you know. Assuming we ever get access to them. I gotta admit it's really really tempting to just accidentally on purpose commandeer one you know for uh, police activities need your car you know pull one of those maneuvers it's very tempting I started slowing down because I wasn't going to have much of a choice there. seem to be. I know there's a way to turn on the sirens. I'm just seeing if there's a way to... Okay, at the next corner, go right. Okay, that was random, but thank you. So if I hang a left here, and then a right up here, very sharp right turn. Give it a little gas, get us up to speed. Slow it down. Get it killed, someone. Ah, boo hoo, you're fine. Okay, it's this house. 
Looks like an okay place. So far. Hello? Anybody there? I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. window appears to be open. Oh, that's a busted out window. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. No, it hasn't been jimmied. It's been shattered. There's a difference between somebody jimmying their way past a lock and somebody literally busting a window out. What is this? You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are but. you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. Circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. He's I want you to come to the clinic and we can got You said the house would be empty. How can I find peace? He's got patients burning down houses as a means of catharsis. And furthermore, burning down houses that have people that are still alive in them. Husband, wife, and two children killed. I really hope that doctor gets it's coming to him. Anything in here? Ooh. Seems irrelevant. A pair of aviator style goggles. The type they would have worn with like a um what was it? The old like biplanes and open canopy open canopy style planes no good to me that was a key to something I don't know why you're saying it's no good to you like is there something locked around here did you look explain the missing ring. A regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks the same. Yeah, it does. This is just gonna be a hairbrush. Shoes. Look at the shoes. Or don't. That's that's cool too. This isn't what we're looking for. What is that? Maybe I don't want to know. Else is there around here? We're gonna have to call the episode here in a couple minutes, I think. Just for time purposes, but Galloway, you're getting in my way, bud. Oh, that's just 
water detergent. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. A $30 suit? Wait, it's the 40s. That actually probably was a significant amount of money. Never yeah, mind. I was gonna make fun of him, but. Wow, this Los Diablos. They make a killing out here. It's like every drunk person drinks their stuff. Eh, whatever. Anything to go on. Yeah, it's just dirty dishes. There's a woman's shoe. Size nines, above average for a lady. Uh, is it? I don't feel like that would have been all that much above average for a lady. But what do I know? If you sober up, you can find me at apartment Jacob two. Obviously have no Ten fifty Huntley Drive. Motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against him being a husband. Jacob could give us something to go on. Hmm. One yeah. of my exes drank like this and he'd feel on the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, fellas. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Oh, shut up. You freaking alcoholic. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. I uh, still have to go outside and talk to the neighbors. Not a big fan of Galloway, I'm not going to lie. Like, he's given us a couple nuggets of good advice, but overall not feeling him as a partner so i'm not sure how the rest of these cases are going to work out for us but it seems like an interesting case nonetheless so i'm i'm intrigued by it which is always a good thing not sure where it's going to go like there's no way it's actually the black dahlia killer like that no there's no way it's that but it it's an interesting case nonetheless because I mean if, if this is the Black Dahlia killer then what's next the Zodiac killer like come on Phelps is an amazing guy you know full-on like marathon runner Olympic athlete type stuff but there's no way he's that good of an investigator so anyways if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see what happens as the case unfolds well subscribe that way you know when new videos get uploaded until next time thanks very much for watching hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and remember that life does get rough sometimes so good luck have fun stay awesome and i'll catch you in the next one